my name is Ty. This is Ty the Movie Guy, and uh, I just received my first order from Criterion, and so I'm going to be unboxing that today. I'm going to talk a little bit about the movies that I got. Yeah, and let me know what you think of this video, and maybe I'll keep doing them. All right, so this is my first video. I'm just doing this for fun because I've been watching a lot of movies lately, and I'm sure Courtney's tired of hearing me talk about them. So. And I've been uh, doing my reviews on Letterboxd, so I can put a link to my account down there if you wanted to read some more of those. But I put my first um, Criterion order in, and I've been obsessed with Criterion lately. And Courtney and I joked that we would make a jar, uh, kind of like a swear jar, but every time I talk about Criterion, I'd put money in it. She said that I'd be able to pay for my trip in probably a week. I just think it's cool what they do for film as an art form, and uh, as far as like the restorations and stuff that they make. And I think it's super cool that they're not elitist, I don't think, and that they see the value of B-movies and action movies and stuff. And I think that the covers that they make are super cool, so I had to get myself a couple as a Christmas gift. And so, here it is. I was walking home today, um, and I was telling Courtney that I would start this channel as soon as this came in. And it's funny that I said that today, because when I got home they were here. And they were just sitting on the windowsill. The UPS man just left them there, so I'm glad nobody stole them. So, I got myself Michael Mann's Thief, starring James Kong. And this is the uh, director's cut, which is pretty cool. And Hunger by Stephen Queen. I decided I would get one movie that I'd seen and one that I hadn't seen, one that I was uh, really wanting to see. I have seen Hunger. I really like this movie. I first watched it for my Irish Studies class for an assignment I was doing on The Troubles. I did quite a few assignments on The Troubles because I found it very um, interesting and powerful stuff. That's definitely what this movie is. Like all of his work, it's very hard to watch, but at, in all of its pain and all the disgusting imagery, it's also very beautiful. It kind of takes like a almost documentary um, detached camera view of the events. Um, you just have to sit back and watch these brutal things happen in these long takes. So this, um, this has got like a nice painting that they did for the cover of Michael Fassbender. Some special features, it looks like there's a um, documentary on here called The Provost's Last Card about the May's hunger strikes. I like Steve McQueen a lot. I haven't I haven't seen his films numerous times because they're so hard to watch, but I uh, this was the last one I needed to own. I think it's my favorite one so far, but I need to watch them a couple more times. So there's that beautiful looking disc in the booklet. These are the best Blu-rays to get. They're so cool. You get all of this extra stuff. It's a great, great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. worried to watch this one actually because I have a plasma screen and this has that long like 15 minute uninterrupted two shot of the two guys talking so I'm worried that'll get burnt into my screen but I guess we'll see. So this is going to go right next to Shame. Of course. And now for Thief. So this is the one I have not seen. It's funny because I actually got two feature debuts from some pretty renowned directors. I almost got Blood Simple, but uh, this one won out just barely. I've been wanting to see this for a while. I love James Caan, and uh, he just looks so, so cool in this movie. And I've watched like the trailer, and he sounds so cool. Uh, and uh, love him in The Godfather, love him in Elf. I don't know, I got a thing for Neon, and I like 80s music. Um, I like the, the Tangerine Dream score from, from Grand Theft Auto, so there's a lot of things drawing me to this movie. I mean, look at that cover. It's so cool. I guess I'll show it down here. I also like Heat a lot, and I mean, I love heist movies, so 
I've been meaning to watch this one for a while. Yeah, this is the uh, director's cut. Got audio commentary with Man and Con, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I love. I just love the looks of these discs and uh, the booklet. Oh, that's that's super cool. And uh, an essay in here. And so I will uh, probably review these movies a little later on and let you know what I think of them, the, uh, the 4K film transfers that they've got. But I'm pretty excited. I've been waiting for these to come in for a while now. Naturally, this one will go next to heat. All right, so that's it. I'll probably order some more. I'll probably do a video then. And uh, the Criterion channel is coming out in the spring, so I'll probably do some videos on that um, as it gets closer, maybe once it comes out. Um, so um, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. I'll probably put out a couple more of these videos if you enjoyed. What do I say at the end? I don't know. Make sure to subscribe. Gucci. Leave a comment down below. What your do you have any Criterion movies? If you do, what's your favorite one? Are there any Criterions you want to get? I'm made for YouTube.